I'm going to be performing the Jurgensen's test, and this test helps us see if the transverse humeral ligament can hold the biceps tendon in the bicipital groove. So I'm going to first palpate and find the biceps tendon in the bicipital groove. And you can kind of feel the transverse humeral ligament across there. And now I'm going to have my patient hold his arm, stabilize against his body with the elbow flex at 90 degrees, and he's fully pronated. Now he's going to resist my pressure as he supinates and laterally rotates his arm. And if there is a click or a pop or pain felt, that means that we have a positive test and the transverse humeral ligament isn't holding the biceps tendon in the bicipital groove and you'll kind of feel it pop out of place or subluxed out of the groove. And a better test for biceps tendon injuries is Speed's test. So he's going to start supinated and push all the way up and you'll feel a pop or a click there and you'll be able to hear it and then you repeat it in pronation. And also you can do the uppercut test. So he's going to pretend like he's punching like this and you'll be palpating and again you'll feel that pop or a click and you'll be able to find the area where he's having pain. So whether it be the insertion of the biceps tendon or the origin.